and I'm back with the third laptop that I want to put a regular hard drive in, one terabyte one. It was really hard to find this flex cable that I need, so uh, in my country it was impossible, on eBay they were really expensive, so I ended up buying this whole bundle for about $25 delivered. It's a non-working uh, Toshiba, uh, let me just check, so I don't uh, tell you stupid things, Toshiba Satellite Pro R50 motherboard. It even has a Wi-Fi card on it that I will uh, use in other projects. Uh, card reader as you can see, power plug, network connector, lots of stuff. And I'm going to actually, even the CPU is on it, but it's solder obviously. I'm going to continue to sell this to somebody else for, I don't know, five dollars. It has some corrosion, but I think it's on the other side. Yeah, right here. You can see corrosion here and corrosion here. So if anybody tries to fix this for, uh, I will sell it again for five dollars, their luck. I just need this thing and this was cheaper than only one of these from other sellers. And hopefully this will actually work in our Z40 because uh, I actually eyeballed it. So I just looked at the all the traces, the uh, overall size, because this part number was not quite uh, correct for this uh, laptop. So I'm going to show this part number to you. Uh, but hopefully I'm also going to write uh, the correct part number for this particular laptop in the, um, uh, the description of uh, this video, or at least put a link to to somebody that was selling it at some point online so you can see actually what you need to buy. But if we are lucky and this works in the Z40 then even this part number will be valid. So again I uh, eyeballed it, looked all around in the pictures and it seemed to be identical with the one from our laptop. And I think um, also the one from the R series uh, are uh, R830. Let me just check a little bit and tell you a few other models that have the correct cable for our particular laptop. Back. Uh, sorry, I was a bit wrong. It's only for for the Z50. So Z40, Z50, and hopefully R50 have the same cable. Hopefully. So let's try and put it in and see what we get. Let's do this. I'm quite excited and scared at the same time because maybe I've just wasted uh, $25 on a cable that is not actually compatible. So we shall see that in a moment. And why is this sticking to my caddy? Get away. Let's unhook this thing, which is really hard to do with your fingernails if they are not really sharp. So I need something sharper. Okay, so the SSD is out and as you can see this cable is in no way capable of connecting to a hard drive. So thank you Toshiba for this uh, stupid decision. And actually, wait, I think this goes in here like that. The connector seems to be the same, the position seems to be good. Uh, I don't know man, I, I don't really know, hopefully it's all good. So let's connect this to the hard drive, again I'm, I just eyeballed this and hope that they use uh, the same cable for two different series of laptops. Uh, yeah, maybe the, the length is not 100% perfect but let me just try to get this cable in the socket if I can actually do it it's, go yeah, it's going in 
Is it all the way in? I'm not sure about that. Let's try and push it this tiny bit. Yeah, I think it's all the way in. It's closed. It's trying to push. You can see it's a bit longer probably than it should be. So it's trying to push in that direction, which I do not want, obviously. So I will make sure I put some... Uh, I will actually... Uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about here, guys. Sorry about that. I'm going to take this whole thing out. And instead of having this foam here, I'm going to put some double-sided tape. Because I want this thing to be glued to the hard drive, so it's unable... Um, to actually push on this thing on the connector in that direction so it pushes more on this end because this thing is way sturdier than this little guy so I'll be back in a second after I remove this uh, foam padding or what's that ready to do this. This is either really stupid or really smart. I'm more inclined to stupid at this point, but I'm not going to overpay for anything if I don't have to. And people selling uh, cables like uh, this for, I don't know, $40 delivered or something like that, you should be ashamed of yourself. That is no uh, no way of uh, of making money that's that's a scam that is genuinely a scam in my opinion that is not how you make money okay so we are using this double sided tape this thing cannot put pressure on the connector in that direction because the double sided tape will not allow it. So all the pressure is on this connector which is way 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 bigger and sturdier and it can handle it without any issue. And it also has this backing here so it will not uh, back out from, uh, from how you call it, from the connection itself. Just need to make sure this flex cable is bent the way I want it. And I think I'm going to add even a tiny bit more of double sided tape. Yes, this, this double sided tape can be removed if uh, wanted in the future. And again a little bit of rent. I really, really, really genuinely hate people that... Uh, uh, want to make money off, out of stuff like this. I understand that you part out uh, laptops or I don't know what exactly your business is, but taking so much money from somebody that is just trying to upgrade his, uh, his laptop is, is just wrong. I really feel it's just wrong. Yeah, this one is a bit harder to put in place. I should have thought a bit better. Okay. Yep. I'm genuinely uh, satisfied with the situation right here. This thing should work perfectly. Yep. <laughs> so this is the only difference probably between this cable and the correct one that this is a tiny bit longer. Toshiba. Really? You need it to do to do, sorry, to make two different cables for such a similar situation just to mess with people. Was that actually necessary?
yeah quite annoying in my opinion honestly but I do think we are good because all the pressure will be on this thing now so let's put the cover back on and see what we actually get and I'm thinking I might actually hold on no no it already has some pads so it will already I was thinking to put some pads to push on this thing down no need there are already pads in place so that is actually awesome this whole edge will be pushed in place and it will be sandwiched between this pad and the double sided tape so this will not move all the tension is here not in that small connector perfect so let's go to high speed while I close this thing up and give it a quick power on and hopefully it sees the hard drive We did it, it sees the hard drive, so it is the same cable, the length is a tiny 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 bit different, so if you find this one you can use it, just use some double sided tape to make sure it doesn't put too much tension of the, on the small connection. Yeah, I had a minor heart attack when it uh, powered on and uh, then it shut off by itself, but it was just a, a BIOS thing, what not, don't really care. It is seeing it, it is working, so let's put windows uh, on this thing. While uh, this is copying the Windows 8 clone onto the new hard drive, I've straightened this out as much as I could. Keeping in mind, this is brushed uh, aluminium on one end and here is just uh, blasted with something so it's matte eh. but I think I, I got it at least uh, in a reasonable shape the internal side it's actually looking pretty decent and it's not that bad is it just no need to buy a new one so I will just put some uh, double sided tape in this area right here again because that is what uh, actually glues to the laptop and uh, all should be okay Inch fixed, uh, double sided tape was too thick, uh, so I just put it uh, back with glue. And uh, once the glue sets, that thing will not move anywhere. Windows 8 activated, 8 gigs of memory, obviously. Let's see, hard drive perfect, recognized zero issues which is exactly the way I like it uh, next let's change the username and obviously um, install Windows 10 so quick search for media creation tool and run it I think I've done this in so many of my videos that any of my uh, old subscribers <laughs> will know this uh, even in their sleep okay media creation tool my clock is behind yeah update date and time what not I hate this is there where is the automatic mode internet time Come on, ah, I just hate it, my clock is behind, update now, 
error occurred. This thing never works the first time. You need to click it twice. I don't know why it's not automatic, automated to to click uh, twice by itself. So again, yep, working. So go to Microsoft and quickly download the tool now. Did I click on it? Yeah, I did. Show in folder. Uh, control panel, come on, come on, move it, move it, where is user send, come on, user accounts, here it is, nothing works when you are in a hurry, account name, so let's have a Z40 here, exactly as we want it, close this thing, close, close everything, close this, media creation tool, Control X. Oh, I have a few things here that I need to delete first. Shift delete. Yep. Control V. Moved. Now let's quickly run this thing. And it will do whatever it needs to do by itself. And uh, I'm not going to show you this whole process. You can find it in any of my videos. And I I think I already showed it to you for the other two laptops. It's sh such a big uh, time difference between when I filmed those two and when uh, the flex uh, cable for this one arrived so I can film it that I don't even remember exactly what I told you and what not. But I think because uh, I usually uh, explain this Windows 10 update I think I actually did. So I'm next we will have Windows 10. It's a matter of accept, next, next, accept, accept, next, 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 Windows 10. Ta -da. And the third. Z40 is finished with uh, one terabyte, uh, terabyte, what is that? <laughs> uh, one terabyte hard drive, which is pretty nice. And weirdly enough, it's quite fast even with this hard drive and still quite light. So we didn't add too much to the weight of this thing. So that is awesome. As for battery life, it says 5 hours and 16 minutes at this point. It might be more, it might be less, but anyway, good enough. All cleaned up, charger working perfectly, so uh, this video is finished. And yes, obviously illuminated keyboard or also on this one, why not? So, uh, thank you very very much for watching, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. In which case, uh, please give it a like. Uh, maybe check out my channel, subscribe to it, uh, check out my other videos and uh, as always see you in the next one. Bye!